So now the people are prejudiced against a people that they say may be associated with a religion that everyone hates. They don't hate the sun. They don't hate good times. They don't hate love. We're the representatives. And this is why it's dangerous uh, for people uh, to get Qur'ans and Hadiths and to read them and be left to their own understanding about what is being said. That is just as crazy and just as ignorant as somebody going to medical school to be a surgeon and they go to the library and read books and now they say, okay, I can do a, 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 I can do a, a heart surgery. Do you think someone is going to let you operate on them when you just read books? That's ignorant. And that's why there's no scholarship. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's why he couldn't read or write. The Quran is what he said because what he felt, the experience of it. How can you reproduce that experience through a mentality, through literal words. That's just as ridiculous as getting a job honey and say this is honey. And you've never tasted honey. And you say, oh yeah. Well, I'm best English, you say, well, I bet this is good. I heard a lot about it. Some people like it, some people don't like it. But you don't know until you taste it. Who's tasting Islam? Who's tasting that heavenly knowledge through their souls? And through wisdom are able to talk to the people in the language that they understand. Most people are ignorant. They don't have a clue about the dog on self. You're going to bring heavenly knowledge to someone you don't understand, they don't understand. So you have the blind leading the blind. No wonder no one wants to be a part of Islam. They don't have no understanding. If you could taste the sweetness of Islam, you wouldn't go nowhere. Oh, we tasted this bitterness. Where are you taking that bitter, that vinegar from? You're taking it from people that have vinegar in their hearts. They don't have a clue. You're taking it from shaitan's people. How's shaitan going to represent Islam? He mad because he ain't able to be over Adam. He don't have the capacity because he has venom in his heart. He has envy in his heart. He has jealousy in his heart. He's arrogant and he's stubborn. All the people that bought Islam were humble people. You felt their humility. You felt their love. They were able to, with that love and kindness, they were able to show our ignorance to ourselves through wisdom. Everybody does not carry wisdom. Because everybody's hearts cannot carry wisdom. What the Prophet Muhammad got through his heart was wisdom. And that's why it has to be someone who is present that have that wisdom in their hearts to say what the words are saying. That's why when you go to medical school, you have instructors and they're able to study a cadaver, a real body, to know where all the nerves are, where all the muscles are, where all the bones are, and what goes where and when. And why. And they are spoon-fed for years. We come in Islam, oh, I got a, my Quran, I got the Hadith, 40 Hadith, oh yeah, a, a salam alaikum. Oh uh, yeah, I go to Juma on Friday, I fast on Ramadan. Still ignorant. There's a process of learning, discipline. You got to learn about yourself. Then you have to have someone 
who understands what it is we need to learn, and but they have to give it to us. They have to over-understand it to the point that they can give it to us according to our level of knowledge. And that's why you have teachers, when you go to a university, what the university, no matter how complex the subject matter is, that instructor must over-understand the material so that they may be able to relate it to all levels of mentality in the class so the class may matriculate. They have to find a way to give it to that student, that student, and all the students in a way that they may understand but bring their level up so they may matriculate, matriculate. Why do you think that's not so much with Islam? This is why you don't see no Muslims. You see people that say they Muslims. And people, we can say anything. And we do say anything. Real Muslims are rare. They're, fine. They're hard to find. And when Allah Almighty present them, people know them. Of all those times that the people were in ignorance, and they were working for Pharaoh. When the law Almighty raised up Moses and Aaron, Hel Harun, to send to people, he got their attention. Those who are connected to the law Almighty get our attention. <laughs> who is it that's getting our attention? What we're representing gets our attention. Most of us were representing our ego, we're representing Shaitan. So how can one ego go to another ego and take them where? To shaitan. It has to be the people of the soul going to the ego and showing the ego with wisdom. You don't have no power. And if you keep going like this, you are going to self-destruct. You are connected to something that's taking you further away from your purpose. Allah created you to be a servant of the servant of Allah Almighty. Allah created you, ego, to be the horse of a servant of Allah, to be uh, the horse that the, the carries the soul to ascend in heaven, to bring heavenly knowledge on earth through wisdom. Very few have wisdom. Allah give example after example in Quran. Sulaiman Islam had wisdom. Many people wanted the world and everything in it. He was asked, "What you want?" He said, "La, I want wisdom." Why did he say wisdom? Why? Why was such a? Why was it such a wise thing for him to wisdom? Because wisdom is an ever power that is ever fresh and ever increasing and ever unveiling. Once it's put on books, it's knowledge. It no longer has the taste. You cannot read a book, you cannot read Quran and taste the full taste of Islam. You cannot reach Iman through reading. Iman is a heart felt thing in the heart. It is a brightness and power in one's being. It is greater than anything of this life. But most of us, our mentality, our souls are enslaved in this life. That's why we're weak. The men are not who they are supposed to be, and so the women can't be who they're supposed to be. Men are leaving the women to raise kids, children. They cannot be a man and a, a father and a mother to, to, to children. They can only be a mother. So that child is missing out on a power that's not there. Or a man just cannot raise without the woman. There's a power missing there. That is not the natural order of things. Allah Almighty created Adam first. Created Eve from Adam. 
to be one with their Lord, not divided and conquered. As long as they were one with their Lord, they could understand and communicate and love each other. Once they divided and started listening to Shaitan, that's when the problem started. They both fail. Because of their disunity, they both fail. And now we see it in the world now. Where are the people that's in unity, oneness with their Lord? Where are they? Where are they among the Jews? Where are they among the Christians? Or the Muslims? Where are they among the white people, the black people, the red people, the yellow people? Where are they? Because now Shaitan is representing his ignorance through human beings. And it's ugly and it's nasty and it's causing the heavens and the earth to vomit and to cry out to Allah Almighty. Oh my Lord, I can't take it. Just like a body would go through a change, if you were feeding, if all your children was raised up on junk food, they may not make it to 10 years old. Their bodies would be so weak. They would have so many diseases. They will be malnourished, yet they're eating. We have to eat what is of us. Our physical body has to take in what is of us, of our enzymes. It has to be food that's going to nourish our muscles, our bones, our nerves, our brain. To have a healthy body. Our souls need the kind of nourishment that's going to make it strong and be obedient. To be able to give that power to our mind and our body to represent heavenly knowledge on earth. We're not seeing it. You have a spiritual obligation to take care of your mind and your body. You can't put anything in just anything in your being that is not of you. What did Esau even Miriam say? Uh, be in the world but not of the world because you are not of this world and as long as you try to be of this world you're losing that part of yourself that's not of this world where are those so called people the best people evolved for mankind they don't have a clue about themselves that's why we're lazy, crazy, confused and divided and conquered and you're not going to read up on no guidance, scholars. You're not going to make, choose what you want to do from it and leave the other. Then you're representing Islam, you're a liar. You've been tricked. Only a fool would try to do surgery on themselves, a brain surgery or heart surgery on themselves. Only a fool. We're talking about the soul. Very few people even know about the soul. And Shaitan has tricked us. We don't think he exists. We don't know ourselves enough that we have a Shaitan in us. Let me tell you what an addiction is. When you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing and you don't repent from it, Allah says, I will put a devil with you and that devil will drive you into hell. When someone has an addiction and they don't repent, that addiction gets more and more and more and they cannot stop. They're like driven. It's like a freight train with no brakes that's doing over 200 miles an hour. Downhill. No brakes. So if we're addicted to anything other than the law almighty, you can expect destruction. Our youth are addicted to all kinds of drugs. They're addicted to all kinds of killings. Look at how they're destructing, destroying themselves. They are addicted to it. 
Because their parents didn't have no guidance to bring them to guidance. 